you to be aware of certain aspects mm -hmm. okay like, cool. like um, the first one is be polite and optimistic okay. so you need to be really polite and optimistic the entire session okay uh, especially while you are giving assurance mm -hmm. right when you do that you can bring in a positive impact to your scores mm -hmm. yes. okay. the second one is when you are giving proper explanation right? mm -hmm. you need to give really uh, you need to explain things really well so mm -hmm. that the assessor can evaluate your potential. Yes. And uh, don't forget you are explaining to a common man. Yes, so it should be simple and clear. Yes, it has to be simple and clear. Um, the next aspect that you have to keep in mind is to be a good listener. Yes, I know it is one of the most important qualities a medical professional should possess. That's correct. So you can gather information only when you are ready to hear them. Yes. Yes. And you have to also keep in mind that you give enough space to the interlocutor to explain his or her worries and anxieties, mm -hmm. right? The next one that you have to keep in mind is uh, when you give proper suggestion and advice, mm -hmm. right? See that it doesn't sound like an order or command, okay. okay? So the instructions can be put as a suggestion or an advice. Okay. So you can learn usages like it's advisable, it's recommended. Okay, so I can also say I would like to recommend that. Exactly. Yes. And finally, what you could do is sum up the details uh, before you wind up the conversation. Okay. Right? It would be a better way to close the conversation mm -hmm. when you recall again all the points that you want your patient to be aware of. Mm -hmm. yes. Keeping these aspects when you are practicing mm -hmm. and also on your test day, um, I'm sure you're going to get better scores. Yes, I will add these things in my practice. Right. Try them. Yes. 